Greetings, nerdlings, and welcome to Amalgam Nation Presents World of Warcraft, Herocraft, Jarrod Shadow Song Edition. Jared was a minor guard in the city of Suramar and was unofficially promoted by Kurtalos Ravencrest to the rank of captain when he returned, accompanied by Malfurion Stormrage, Taran the Whisperwind, Crassus, Ronan, and Broxigar. Jared was put in charge of guarding these personages and became a valuable supporter of Lord Ravencrest. After the death of Lord Ravencrest and later Desdel Starry, many nobles and soldiers alike came to him for answers concerning the battlefield as he was the first man of authority they came across on the wrecked battlefield. After successfully winning the battle he was then made commander to the host. When Desdel Starai took command after Ravencrest's death, Jared was named liaison to the Tauren, Erton, and Firbolg, largely because Starai thought Jared was used to sacrifice. When Starai was killed, much to the relief of Crassus and Ronan, and soon after Lord Del Theon was killed, Jared unconsciously assumed field command of the troops. As a result, the tide of battle was turned from the death of the resistance into a small victory within hours. Ronan, the Erton, and the Torin insisted that Jared assume complete command of the Allied forces, to which he reluctantly agreed. Most of the nobles and Moonguard agreed he should lead them. Jared's unorthodox tactics were extremely effective in holding the line against the Burning Legion with minimal loss of life until Archimond arrived on the battlefield. These battles even liberated night elves from Star Eyes' mistakes and improved relations with other races and even served to deteriorate the caste system of the night elves. Jarrod's mere presence also seems to serve in raising morale. It is noted that unlike the commanders before him, all fight harder and obey him with greater swiftness. An amused Ronan, however, realises that Jarrod probably doesn't consider himself impressive at all and believes he is only doing what he must. Unfortunately for his modesty, his people's reverence for him only grew when the demigods joined the conflict and willingly placed themselves under his command. He even manages to earn the admiration and respect of his sister, who had never seemed to approve of him. Towards the end of the conflict, Jared entered single combat with Archimond himself. He knew that he would not be able to defeat the Demon Lord, but he fought anyway, until the portal in the Well of Eternity collapsed, and all of the Burning Legion, including Archimond, were banished from the world of Azeroth. Although he believed his people would consider his resistance pathetic, as he fought so poorly against the Demon Commander, he was lauded as a hero. In spite of all but impossible odds, he had stood defiant against a commander of the Burning Legion. Following the conclusion of the war, Jared was named one of the major leaders of the Night Elf civilization, the others being Taran the Whisperwind, Malfurion Stormrage, and Datramar Sunstrider. Unfortunately for him, he is the first to discover that Illidan Stormrage was attempting to create a new well of eternity. He attempts to stop him but is badly beaten by the other's vast command of the arcane. When they discover him, Maiev and Chandras quickly go to tend to him. A furious Maiev then attempts to kill Illidan for harming her brother, but is stopped by Taranda and Malfurion. Jared later agrees to Illidan's imprisonment. He is present during the birth of Nordrasil and the aspect's blessing of it. He also helps guide his people in finding a new place and new ways to live. Jared was known to have at least partly returned the affection of Chandra's Feathermoon, despite how when he first met her during the War of the Ancients, he described her age gap as being a gulf the size of the Well of Eternity, although the difference was only a few years. As such, he is initially disturbed by the affectionate smiles the younger Night Elf always gave him. However, he admits that he began to find comfort in them, especially with the pressures of leadership. 
Over the years, he chose to increasingly lessen his presence in night elf society, still believing that he is no hero and not wanting to be remembered as one. He eventually faded away altogether. In his place, Taranda began to become the monarch of their people. One day, he suddenly vanished, along with a few personal possessions. He did not say where he was going, and he did not bid anyone farewell. Since that time, there were no sightings of him until much later. In the novel Wolfheart, Jared Shadowsong returns to Darnassus with his dying wife, Shalasir. Despite ten millennia of his absence, he is recognised by sight by most sentinel guards and night elves. During his ascent to the Temple of the Moon, he is met by Malfurion Stormrage, who, like everyone else, considered the former commander long dead. Despite their haste, even the powers of a loon wielded by Taranda Whisperwind are insufficient to heal Jared's mate. After the funeral, Jared finds himself in the position of investigating several murders of a few highborn of Eldra Talas in conjunction with his sister and several worgen. Eventually, he gets charged to create new watchers in order to guard night elven society. In World of Warcraft Cataclysm, Commander Jared Shadowsong makes his World of Warcraft debut. He appears at Mount Hygel and the Molten Front, aiding Malfurion Stormrage in the defense of the mountain. In Patch 4.2, he appears at the Sanctuary of Malorn. In Legion, when Gul'dan and Cordana Felsong stole Elden's corpse from Vault of Wardens, Maiev pursued them and eventually went missing. Many Wardens loyal to her began a search for her on the Broken Isles. Jared also wanted to help them and find his sister. During the search, Jared went to Blackrock Hold, only to find that Curtalos Ravencrest's body is missing and he is raised with other undead in the fortress. Later, Jared finds Maiev alive and freed from Gul'dan, and together they defeated the ghost of Desdal Starai. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, play the game and game to play.